Hello, so this is a new series, League's Shame, Ranked Scum. <laughs> this is a series where we watch the mistakes that uh, the Don't lesser players um, make in general. And this is just going to be a short episode. They probably will all be short episodes, just showing me some highlights, whether at the beginning, the middle, or the end of a game. Um, so for this one, I guess we'll be watching three uh, hero, I mean, sorry, champions in particular. So in this case, we're looking at uh, the Varus, the Wukong, and the Cho'Gath. So we will see no names for the, the champions. Um, I won't even tell you which champion I was in the game if I was... Um, uh, well, I guess it's kind of obvious now that I was on the Radiant. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you which Radiant champion I was. Um, anyways. Alright, so Wukong and Varus jump together. That's the first thing that Sully to do. They ask for help, and Sully always gets help. And really, the helper really isn't helping all that much. He's barely giving anything, and he's he's not tending to his lane. So they're both uh, share some shame in that regard. And then so this guy's doing some harassing. It's pretty funny. Um, and the tank is kind of waiting for an opportunity to throw a spell. Gets a pretty good stun off on her. So that's just kind of normal stuff happening. But uh, actually, up over here we missed. Oh, I forgot to, to check that out. The, uh, the the jungler. They both planted wards there, and then he ran this way to get help in the mid laner. And the mid laner didn't even try to help. I don't think it would have been actually helped. Not really a big deal, I guess. So um. Starts one versus two on them and earns his flash to stay alive. While the Shogad um, is a tank and has no problems taking it up. And he didn't have the summoner spell. Gets a pretty good stun off. Now, the Varus is not life as he should be. He's just kind of standing by the tower for a little bit there. Plus, now his wave is being pushed to the tower, so he's going to have even less time to life Because he has to focus on the last game perfectly. So that kind of sucks. So Cho'Gath does plant a war. So now we're back to the relatively normal stuff. There's some trading and harassment. Um, there's some scouts to catch out. So Misfortune comes over here, and Cho'Gath figures, well, maybe she's checking for a game from the angler, but no. I get a couple of hits, Leona misses her hook. So Varus comes over here, and he's like, oh, he misses her hook. He didn't even have vision, I don't know what he was thinking. And then he gets slowed and ignited in the eyes, which was huge. And then Cho'Gath starts freaking out. What the heck are you doing, Varus? And just kind of AFK gets hooked instead of running behind the tower is what he should have done. Um, at this point, the main lane is pushed to his tower, and it's technically not safe for him to be in the lane. But he's especially one versus two. But he's in the lane. Okay. So, um, both players share the shame there. Mostly Varus, but show guys. And that's pretty much it for this episode. There isn't the. I'm sure there's plenty more in the game uh, stuff, including possibly whatever happened up here. But, um. Well, no, that was two on one, so not really, I suppose. But, uh, you know, who knows? Um, you know, maybe somebody higher ranked than me. The main thing is, uh, the interesting stuff.
up the camera down here. I would hope we'll give you guys a bit of a chance. If not, maybe there'll be another episode where we do something funny. I don't really know how to go through these with a funny way. Sunspan moves or like the new Sunspan. These are action sucks. Those guys are pretty good at what they do. I'm not really like that. I just want to show.